so I'm recording two Daily Fodder episodes in one day before I even got to finish posting the first one. This one is going to be known as the one with the mustaches and in about two seconds you're going to find out why. One, two. Alright, now that we got that out of our system, uh, that was from the Mustache World Championships. I'm uh, not going to tell you who won because uh, I don't care. I didn't really read any article about it. So uh, I'm just going to jump into the rest of the stuff. Let's see. A uh, house caught fire when a raccoon trap um, went awry. Okay, that was pretty much just reading the headline. I never do that. That's kind of dumb. Uh, basically, this old guy tried to uh, get these raccoons out of his attic. He did so by lighting a kerosene rag on the end of a stick and trying to smoke them out. Uh, turns out he accidentally lit the raccoon on fire. The lit raccoon proceeded to run around in his attic and set his house on fire. The kicker for me, as though that weren't enough, is that uh, the reporter at the end... Here, I'm going to just read it. C.W., course his name CW never would have guessed given what's happened what would you do differently I'd probably do the same thing again oh man you gotta love Kansas all right next one um, story about a uh, pastor who forgot to turn off his wireless mic when he uh, in the British term went to go visit the loo uh, apparently he was uh, Whistling and singing and uh, making quite a splash, according to the story. <laughs> and uh, apparently the people in the church were laughing at him. Let's see. I found a story about a, uh, a street fight that like broke out about this old guy. This old guy was driving down the road on his little scooter or something. And a rabble-rousing drunk kid, like a teenager, uh, grabbed his cane grabbed the old guy's cane out of this little basket on the front of the scooter, you know, like the old people have. Another drunk kid comes up and puts the cane back. Those two are okay, you know, whatever. These two women come in and start reprimanding these kids for being, like, disrespectful and having no respect for old people and all this kind of stuff. And the two drunk kids' friends catch wind of it, and they start coming out and beating on those women. And then some other people come in and start beating on them, it get, turns into a massive English hoedown. Actually, I take that back. It wasn't a massive English hoedown. This was a massive New Zealand hoedown. Um, and the phone's ringing, so I'm going to pause this and go into the phone. So, uh, this is a recording in Spanish. <laughs> I really don't care because I don't speak Spanish. All right, that's enough of that. You never know what's going to happen when it's a uh, not live show. All right. Oh, uh, let's see. So we got New Zealand covered. Remember the last time I reported about New Zealand? It was a guy stabbing someone else with a spear. Oh, yeah. New Zealand's awesome. Um, let's see. I'm going to top it off with all of this and say that a uh, 93-year-old man's pants caught on fire. You might say, how would a 93-year-old man's pants catch on fire, Dan? I would say, well, apparently he was fighting a brush fire. Why was he fighting a brush fire, Dan? I have no idea, because he's a crazy 93-year-old man. I wouldn't fight a brush fire now. Well, I don't know, maybe I would, but certainly not as if I'm 93. Holy crap. It would have been a lot funnier if he'd been, like, you know, lighting his farts or <laughs> something like that. But no, he was uh, fighting a brush fire. Craziness. So, that wraps up today's second Daily Fodder. 
the one with the mustaches. I'm going to uh, leave you with a little song that a friend of mine at work sent to me. This is really about how I feel when I'm sitting in my cubicle. This is a uh, song about my cubicle. You might have heard it on a radio. I'm not sure where it came from. It sounds pretty professional to have been just done by some hobo on the internet. So, you know, you probably heard it on some morning show or something. But I still think it's funny, and I'm going to include it. So here you go. My job is stupid. My days are bored. Inside this office, from eight till four, well, nothing ever happens. My life is pretty blank. Pretending that I'm working, pray I don't get canned. My cubicle, my cubicle, it's one of six feet two. It's my spot. Just a six by six foot booth And I hate it, that's the truth Well, I give a sigh As the bus walks by No one ever talks to me or looks me In the eye And I really should work But instead Sometimes